Okay, this is Kit. Hi, Kit. Kit's due date is tomorrow. First so, due date. First due date is tomorrow, right? We did rebrand it twice, so then we, her last due date would actually be Wednesday. So sometimes it's Monday and Wednesday. So I want to go over the things that you should be doing in terms of checking your dog so you get your timing right. You're not caught out, don't have puppies in the middle of the night. Um, backup plans, we'll talk about that. And I want to talk about the equipment and what you need to have on hand. So the, the first fundamental piece of equipment that if you don't have this, you need to be shot. This is a thermometer. This is very four, important. Yeah, four or five bucks at Walmart. And I mean, it comes in our puppy care kit, but this is a fundamental piece of equipment. This is what is going to steer you from going wrong on time in C-section. So what do you do? You stick this in the dog's butt, starting about a week before your due date. And how far do you put it into the dog's butt? And you put it in all, the way up, all the way up to the bend. So it's going to be, you know, one about half we'll of the time. We'll show it on the thermometer. All the way to here. Well, quite, quite yeah, the about the for there. sure there. Yeah. Yeah. So you get it in basically as far as you go. Grease it up, Vaseline. Grease it up first, olive oil, whatever you need to use. Stick it in the butt and wait for the thing to go beep to up temperature. So what are you looking for? You're looking for <laughs> She's looking at you thinking you're gonna do that. Yeah, she doesn't like it. <laughs> it's okay, but you had that today already. So her temperature today was 100, and it's been bouncing around 99.8 to 100 yeah. for the last four days. And we do it twice a day when it's this close. Yes. So a week beforehand, you try to do it twice yes. a day. So what we're looking for is a temperature that drops below 99. A temperature that's 98.9 or less is indicative of a dog that's going to have puppies within 24 hours. It doesn't always work, but certainly if you are close to your due date, and then there's some other signs, and I've got videos that go over all of this, so I don't want to go over this great detail here, but basically she won't be eating any food, and Kit today hasn't eaten anything, so that's a sign that... Well, you said she ate an egg. She ate a little bit of an egg. We, he hand, Daddy hand fed her. Yes. She loves her daddy. Yes. No, I love her. She's a really nice dog. She's, she's, you love she's your beautiful. daddy. She's, she's, she's says, afraid you're going to put that thermometer back yeah. in again. <laughs> this is, uh, hey, by the way, while we're here, I like this. So this is pretty convenient. Um, this is a lift that I bought on Amazon. Um, we don't sell these currently, but I probably will start selling them at some point. But anyway, the, the nice thing about the lift is for old it's nice people. nice and smooth, isn't it, Kit? Like Tammy and I. You don't have to get down your knees. Yeah. And you can do everything. You've got knee problems. You're going to like this or back yeah. problems when you're yes. cleaning out cages. You know what that's yes. like, yeah. So we don't leave it up in the air all the time because it's a little bit wobbly. Not too bad. A little bit wobbly. But, but it also... You know, well, when the babies are born, we leave it up. Yeah. Because of the draft. Yes. Well, we put a blanket over Around it, too. We're going yeah. to run through all this process. But basically, yeah. we want to start about... First thing to do, temperature, get your timing right. Remember, if you take puppies... Two days or more early, you'll likely lose a litter. So not a good day. If you get it late and you wake up in the middle of the night, she's having babies, you may lose babies, and you could even lose mum. And uh, you know, it's, so what are you gonna do? So we have got three vets on call, because we thought it could be today, Sunday. That's right, Kit. We've got three vets on call. So that in the event that we can't get hold of somebody because it's middle of the night, we've got two other right. people to go to. And I did that last week. Yes. So two weeks prior to her yes. due date, I called three veterinarians to be on standby. And yeah. Well, like and they've got things that they do. They have a life also, right. like we do. That's right. And That's right. Uh, they may have a program yeah. to go to one night and be gone all night. I had to go out of town. So, so here's what I don't like, having to go to an emergency clinic in the middle of the night. No. That is the worst place to go. It's better than doing maybe So yourself. expensive, too. It's expensive. You get the most junior person. So I don't like That's that. That's why a progesterone <laughs> test is great. I'm right. surprised James hadn't done a progesterone test. So we'll do a progesterone test, test today because we're looking for a progesterone level three or less is indicative, is safe to take puppies. So, okay, so now what have we got here? Well, this is a crate that was bought on, I think this was bought on Amazon. I like this crate. Well, it has a different opening this time. It is. It's got the Yeah, it, you slide it and it, Don't it needs a, yeah, and it's you just door. slip it over the. It's a double door. It's no, not, no, look here. You missed it. You yes. want to make sure you hit it. Yes, that's exactly right. It's also yeah. got a door on the front. We don't use this door hardly no, at all. But, but it's, if you've got a clean up way, yep. I like this, uh, having if, two doors. If you get a single door, have one small door on the front. The double door gives you a bigger door on the side, which is really nice right. to get in and out of. Right. So here's the other thing about this. This has got heavy, heavy yes. 
with a really cheap one. If you find a cage for 50 bucks, it'll and probably it's be- wires that you could literally bend. You could bend it and a puppy can get its head. Right. So this is what this card is This is why, for. yeah, we put You don't the have to have it. this, but if you, she had small puppies last time, and there was a puppy that did get its head stuck. Mm -hmm. So we're just being precautious. Yeah. So we just put yeah. a piece of cardboard in there and it stops a puppy from getting its head. This is a pretty good cage. It's got much smaller openings in the bottom. So I don't think there's even an issue with this cage, but yeah. do you want to show you something? I don't know. Okay. Sometimes, yeah, you'd be it surprised. Could happen. It could happen. It, especially if they get up in this size yeah. of area, they can slip sideways yeah. in there. Yeah. So what else we got here? So we've got a pig worm here. This comes, by yeah. the way, this is this is also got the heat tape out here. I but this is come outside the Okay. This has got our heating system on it. We've got a thermostat that controls the temperature. We've got it set to 104 degrees. So, so it's, if you'll notice too, there are no wires inside this cage right. for mama to chew on when she's bored. Right. You know, or if she thinks she's afraid of the wire around her babies, she will right. not chew on it. It will not electrocute her because all the wires are on the out. Side. Outside. So We've got our camera in here to watch yep. the babies yep. and we can hear them and hear mom at night. That helps too. So this is a pig rail that comes this you buy this if you can stay there too. I'm gonna get a pig rail here. Okay. So you buy a set of four of these guys. These are the corner pieces. Off of mybreedersupply.com. My breedersupply. And you go buy a ten foot stick of one and a half inch PVC, you cut it up and it all fits together in a matter of seconds. Yep. And this thing is and, and this thing just moves. Well, just comes okay, off. hang on. I'll move the water bowl so you can actually see, see the, the corner on. piece in the bowl. Now, normally now we put um, those swimmer, oh, sorry, <laughs> swimmer noodles on these. We cut them and fit them on there. That keeps uh -huh. uh, the baby from getting stuck back behind that because babies will crawl around that backside and get stuck in there. So if you put these noodles, the swimmer noodles, on there. It comes with it, kit. Yeah. When you buy the it kit, comes you with buy, the kit. You buy the pig row adapter. Yeah. yeah. So this is a very easy way of putting a very effective pig row all the way around. Okay. So And notice, see how high my water bowl is? That keeps a, a young pup from going in it if you get lower water bowls. And we so don't put that high water better. either, just in case no. it did get in the Well, brand. it's not very yeah. it's not very high anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So all right, so what we've got here for the first few days, we use a pee pad. Oh yeah. Because you can remove yeah. it very quickly. And this is not what I use when puppies are born. I right. use a white towel that I buy at Walmart, little old white towels. I'm going to be sticking white towels in here with her anyway, so I can check to make sure if she's got any blood coming, what color it is. And uh, it's, 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 yeah, so, so I just have a towel in here and the pee pad. So if it's a green discharge, what would you do? Oh, go to the vet immediately, call them and say we're on our way. Yes, right. Means okay. you've got problems if you got green. So the way this works is you'll see there's discharge. no heat no heat lamp in here. We hate heat lamps. Right. Mom's closest to heat lamps, she hates them. This but you, stays nice and cool you, right here. Nice. Oh, so what was talk, that? Oh, or cheese. We're gonna talk about Warm. So, okay. so so most people would put a heat pad in here. And the problem with that is is that it heats mum. And uh, she doesn't like it. So what we do is we put a tape, we manufacture a tape, it's a press sensitive it tape. Can, you can, oh, you might maybe see, see, it. see the edge of it. I see the edge of it right there. Okay. There's that heat yep. tape. It's all the way around the bottom part of that tray. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to show you the heat hit. So if you put your hand here, it's nice and warm. It's cool here. No heat at all. The only place is warmth is... Right there. a little bit to find the heat place well I can't get it very good here but there you can see it's heating up see around 100 degrees it's actually set to a bit higher than that and actually it's, it's a bit warm than that but I'm having a hard time it's pretty it's very localized where the heat is but it's all on. along the edge there and those babies will crawl to that when they fall off of nursing on mama in the middle and they get cool. Here we go. They'll automatically See? go to that far side. There you go. So there's a, there we go. There's the temperature right there. Now, so it's 100 degrees. Now, if I go in the middle here. Well, even with the pee pad on there, it'll yes. still measure it. So there you go. That's just room temperature. So that's why it works so well. So what happens is the puppies are doing one of two things. They're nursing on mum. Mum wants to be in here with the babies. She's not getting anxious because she's being separated. 
When the babies are finished nursing, they find their way to a heated place, which is under the pig rail, and they just all fall asleep under the pig rail, and they just couldn't be in a safer place. <laughs> and mum, we leave mum and babies together 24-7 for three, four weeks in yeah. this setup. We do virtually nothing, right, Tammy? Mm -hmm. Now, let's see how hungry she is. We see, better. See, see That's her cheese. Yep. She, yeah, so I kind of just give it to her. She lick it, lick it. Not very interested, though, is she? No. We're getting close. Yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe she's gonna eat it. Daddy fed it to me. There you go. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. So she's been getting folic acid every day, mm -hmm. five milligrams. And so we put that in yeah. some cheese. That's yeah. the way. Folic acid and the multivitamin. And that's what she's a week doing. to ten days. Ten days to a week before she has babies. Safeguard, please. Yes. Safeguard. Mm -hmm. Three days in a row. About mm -hmm. day ten days beforehand, mm -hmm. and then do the same thing again day seven days afterwards. And it's uh, one milligram per every five pounds of weight. She weighs like eighteen pounds. She has like three and a half milligrams. <laughs> That's why she loves you so much, because you just feed her anything and everything. No. Mama just, gets on to him. No, we I don't. I have to tell him, no, 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 no. You love Daddy, because he just does all the things he's not supposed to. No, she's just on a really nice dog. You. So she's a, you're a hero. Yeah. So you see these yeah. look, Shiba Inu looking look to her. She's her real name is Kitsune for, for a fox. And she's yeah. her boobs. Her boobs are getting nice and pli nice and pliable, yes. and getting big. Yes, they are. Oh, just, hold her hand. Her, her arm was shaved here. Yeah. Her blood. Just turn taken. around and show her back in a little bit. Oh, I don't really like to show that. Yeah, so she's, she's getting she's, she's getting big she's, she's, and softening back here. So, so you can see this is all starting to soften up. It's kind of a hood. See, it's all softening up. This is quite normal. That's what you expect to see. Yeah. There was some yeah. mucus. A couple of days ago, a little bit again today. It looks like a jelly-like substance, completely yeah. normal. That's the mucus plug, and that's fine. But she just doesn't want to be very active. Which is, you know, we just wanted to sleep yeah. at this point. So yeah. we'll put it back up yeah. in here. And then you want to close it down. And I use yeah. that for her to jump in and out of. Of course, yes. she's not doing that right now because she's too big. We, we baby her. She has to be picked up. So that's another thing about your dogs, isn't it? Don't let your dog start jumping up and down off furniture. No, Especially the and, last two and weeks of the take away all the big exercise away from her, big playtime away from her towards the last few days of pregnancy. I mean, go out for a walk. Let her, not for a, a big walk. On a leash. Not for a big walk. Right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. come over this way, Tammy. We'll look at this stuff here real quick. So this is just fun. I got this stuff lined out. This is fun. So they can cook in the oven a little bit longer. Yeah, so they can say we're done and then have them. <laughs> okay, so watching the, the video. Uh, I really appreciate people who subscribe to me. It helps me, encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here, I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here, and certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Bye.